This is ACDN TV. Welcome back, AC. It's Friday, April 26th, and I'm Don Kashadi here with Megan Brophy kicking off your weekend. In today's episode, we have some great fun lined up for you. That's right, Megan. We have another round of How to Be a Good Person, this time teaching us about being generous. You know, Dom, I know how to be generous. Mm. I always got in my way to let Cam pay for dinner. But if we're talking about a segment on guessing logos, I think I'd be pretty good at that, too. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't get ahead of yourself. First things first, Let's get to how to be a good person. What's up, good people of AC? Today, we're going to be teaching you guys about integrity. So we're going to be using a $20 bill that is fake, and we're going to be seeing if students return it or if they keep it for themselves. So it's episode three. Let's roll that clip. <laughs> how to be a good person with Sophia and Lily. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna do with that? Get some fast food. Bruh. Really? You were gonna get fast food? Yeah, I'm hungry. Man. You were gonna steal 20 bucks. You know what you just missed out on? What? This is fake. You missed out on real money. So, how do you feel about that? Dang. Are you gonna be a good person now? Yeah, I'm sorry, AC. Should be. Bruh. <laughs> wait, 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 come here. Wait, what were you gonna do with the money? I was obviously gonna give Mr. Clemens. That's it. That's a pretty nice thing to do. Well, That's... in his honors class, so you know I yeah. gotta show my abilities. Joke's on you, it's fake. Fake? <laughs> Where's it at? <laughs> Wait, Kendall took the money. Dude, you're just a so bad, Kendall. I'm sorry. <laughs> she is locked in. Bruh. Audrey, what were you what were you gonna do with this $20? That was not me, that was that girl. Wait, come back! Come back! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Hey, what were you gonna do with the twenty dollars? Yeah, if you got this, what were you gonna do with it? How sweet of you! You're, bruh. <laughs> you're, you're a good person. You get a dollar. Thank you. Bruh. How to be a good person with Sophia not going to lie, I think that would have fooled me. It would 100% fool you, but I know you definitely would have been generous and turned that money over. Mm. You know, you could buy my lunch on Monday with that. <sighs> okay there, hot shot. That's enough from you. This past week, a piece of space debris from the International Space Station fell out of the sky and landed on a house in Florida, putting a hole in the roof. Mm. The debris, which was part of a battery pack, was scheduled to re-enter the Earth and was projected to crash near the coast of Florida. However, the object, which had a mass of just under two pounds, crashed into the roof at terminal velocity, leaving a hole in it. Usually over time, space junk like this tends to deorbit due to the minuscule atmosphere in low Earth orbit. This incident raises questions about measures, or lack thereof, taken to ensure that space junk does not interfere with life on Earth. In other news, on Tuesday, the Senate approved a landmark bill to regulate TikTok, citing national security. What does that mean exactly? The bill would require ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, which is based in China, to sell the app within a year or risk having it removed from U.S. app stores and web hosts. That would mean you would lose access to TikTok. This actually had an overwhelming support from both parties since they were all concerned about TikTok's propaganda and possible Chinese government surveillance. But now it's time to get ready for the next segment, so maybe I should warm up. Guess what I'm doing? Cam, what are you doing? You're supposed to read the guy. Actually, I like that from you. Good job. Dom, what are you doing? They're guessing the logos. Okay. It's not straight. Okay. Oh, you're just salty that you couldn't guess it. 
Roll a segment. By the way, your Mr. Gang compression was not good at I'm, all. All right. I'm Kelly Bernard, and I think I will win this because Lucas is not prepared. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, everybody. I'm your local philanthropist, uh, <clears throat> rich dude. Definitely have lots of money to spend. <clears throat> but I totally do not think I will win, not because I'm unprepared, but simply because I do not need to understand business below me. Be for real right now. <laughs> no one's gonna take that seriously, come on. That's true. <laughs> Amazon. Yeah. Lego. Hey, one to one. <laughs> come for on. Now. Stop. Stop. Jeez, that was scary! That's my favorite piece of brand too! Nintendo! Nintendo. <laughs> my heart is racing! Oh my god! Sonic! I would've never gotten that one, honestly. It's a, it's a fast food place. I don't know if you guys have them around here. Blockbuster! Yeah, I'm not, I'm not I used to one. go to those every day when I was younger. There's only one left, and it's in Bend, Oregon. That's where oh, I used really? to live. Nice, nice. Atari. I've, yeah, I, I thought that was like, I, I don't remember what it's called, but I've seen it. Yeah, I have a system at home, actually. Twitch! <laughs> I am not letting you win this. I think we're too close. It's like, it be anxious. Yeah, like, by this point, like, you basically buzz faster than I do, so like... I'm trying! But this point, I have to like buzz... I'm gonna break it like you did! <laughs> I didn't break it, it still worked! Converse? Okay, I got Converse on right... Oh, no I don't, that's a lie. Sorry guys, I'm wearing Nikes today, that's the first. Kodak. You, can you press that finger? Kodak! <laughs> <laughs> that when do I win that? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. The thing is though, like for habit, you bust faster than I did, so it's kind of fair. I tried. I'm like, my heart is racing, actually. And I don't know how you move your hands so fast. Me neither. Honestly, actually, that's a plus. What did he say? <laughs> hey, good game. Yes, bless up! Wow, Kalani completely swept the floor with Lucas. How embarrassing for him. Speaking of sweeps, the girls' track team remains undefeated, and the girls' 4x100 meter relay of Sophia Capriolati, Kendall Cooper, Miracle Hershey, and Jada Morales set a new school record for their event Friday night. And a cool side note, Coach Hess has been coaching the sprints, and this season they broke her record. Also, congratulations to the following varsity boys tennis players for making the league flight tournament next month. Travis Hostetter, Max Glitka, Gus Garantino, Eli Martin, Xavier Timmy, and Brent Meyer. And a final sports congratulations to AC softball senior Mita Pulaski, who reached the 300 career strikeout milestone earlier this month in the Dutchman's win over Lancaster Catholic. Wow, congratulations, Mita. That's all this week for the weekly news. We'll be back next Thursday instead of Friday due to prom being on Friday and the early dismissal that will happen at 11.15. For AC DNTV, I'm Don Pichotti. And I'm Megan Brophy. Have a great, great weekend, weekend, AC. AC.
Bulletproof, nothing to lose. 